Hey guys, um, in this video I'm just going to show you uh, how easy it is to make a cool button in Photoshop. Uh, a button, a pitch, a button that you can like use you know, on your website or anything. And the button is of course only an image. Okay, so let's go to file and pick new image. And I'm just going to call it button. And the width is going to be 100 and height is going to be 40. Hit OK, and the first thing we're going to do is to make a new layer, and we can get exit. We can just delete that one, and we're just going to call it background, and we're just going to fill it with the white color. Okay, and um, now I'm just go. You need to go to layer style settings, you can just double click on it or you can just um, hit blending options. And the first thing I'm going to do is go into the gradient overlay and I'm going to pick a custom gradient that I've created and it's going to hit OK. Now I'm going to make a new layer and it's going to create a cool effect and I'm going to call it white. And I'm going to rectangular marquee tool and hit the half of the button, something like that. And I'm going to fill it the paint bucket tool, and it's going to be the color white. And I'm going to change the opacity to 30%. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit Ctrl D and I'm going to go to the background option again. And I'm going to go to the inner glow and decorate like a really cool effect. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to use the white color. You can just play around with things here. Uh, okay, so hit OK. And now it's only one more thing we need to do, and that's add the text. And I'm just going to pick the text tool here and the size is 16. I'm going to use, okay. And now you just enter the text you want on a button. I'm just going to enter home. So this button button takes us to the home screen. Okay. Uh, hit OK. And go to the blending options. And I'm just going to make simple change here. I'm just going to add a little stroke. Uh, two pixels in the size. Hit OK. Okay, so technically we are done now, mm, but we maybe want to use uh, a hover button, so the button change when you ho hover over it. So we can do this easily um, by just creating a new layer, creating a new background layer. So I'm just going to call this layer uh, to background and background one, and then I'm just going to copy this layer. And I'm just going to call it background 2. And just move it down. And then I'm just going to double click on the gradient overlay and change it to another custom gradient that I created. And it's going to be this green one. Hit OK. Hit OK. And now we come to the great thing uh, of working in layers. So now we can just try to um, click on this eye here to disable them so if you disable the background one we will show the background two okay so let's try that okay so there you go so you see that green cool button there and if we click on this again it's uh, it's showing our other button so now we can save this get safe web devices and you can save it to your computer and when you want to save the other button you can just disable the background one and do the same thing and you can play around with settings here to make smaller and stuff okay so there you go there's my short little tutorial on how you can make a cool button in Adobe Photoshop so yeah see ya